Meghan Markle has been accused of undermining the royal family ahead of the coronation after the Duchess wrote a letter to King Charles accusing the firm of unconscious bias. It is understood that this letter was in response to one Charles wrote to Meghan following her and Prince Harry's interview with Oprah Winfrey in March 2021, in which they claimed a member of Harry's family had a comment about their son Prince Archie's skin tone before he was born. Get the latest royal news straight to your phone by joining our WhatsApp community. Writing on Twitter, Niall Gardner, a former aide to Margaret Thatcher who often writes about the royal family said, It is sad to see Team Meghan and Harry do all they can to undermine the king and the royal family ahead of the coronation. A source close to Meghan has claimed the reason she is not attending the coronation is because she did not receive a satisfactory response to her concerns, according to The Telegraph. Both Meghan and Charles understood the comments were not made with the intention of being offensive or malicious. In a response to the story published in The Telegraph, a spokesperson for the Duchess of Sussex said in a statement, The Duchess of Sussex is going about her life in the present, not thinking about correspondence from two years ago related to conversations from four years ago. Any suggestion otherwise is false and frankly ridiculous. See below for the latest royal coverage. 7 hours ago 14 colon 12 Catherine Meyer Funnel Princess Gate explains why she can never run the marathon despite her love of sport Kate, Princess of Wales is known for her love of sport and often takes part in physical activities while on royal visits with her husband Prince William, whether that's beating him in a spin race or taking part in rugby training at Twickenham. However one of the UK's most prestigious sporting events, the London Marathon, is inaccessible to the princess due to concerns over her security. The grueling 26-mile race is taking place today, April 23, with thousands of runners taking to the streets of the capital to raise money for charity. Journalist Brian E. Gordon, who is also a keen runner and has completed the marathon herself, revealed she asked Kate once whether she would ever consider taking part. She told Runner's World, I can't remember exactly what happened, but I was like, are you going to run the marathon? And she was like, oh I can't because security is a bit difficult. But I was like, sure, yeah, yeah, good excuse. If I can do it, anyone can. Read the full story here 8 hours ago 13 colon 10 Catherine Meyer Funnel Prince Harry feels homesick for the UK, according to Meghan Markle's close friend Prince Harry still misses home despite now being settled in California with his wife Meghan Markle and their young family, according to a friend of Meghan's. The Sussexes have lived in Montecito since 2020 with their son Prince Archie and daughter Princess Lilibet, although Harry will fly back to London in time for the King's coronation on May 6 whilst Meghan and the children stay in the US. Meghan's friend and makeup artist Daniel Martin told People magazine that even though Harry is happy with his new life he still has a soft spot for the UK. He said, Harry has definitely found his vibe and is very settled in California. But he does miss home. Buckingham Palace has confirmed that the Duke will be at Westminster Abbey for King Charles' coronation next month, however as the date also falls on Archie's fourth birthday Meghan and the children will remain at home. Read the full story here 9 hours ago 12 colon 28 Catherine Meyer Funnel Prince Louis Sweet likeness to Mum Kate unveiled in new birthday portrait Prince Louis charming likeness to his mother Kate has been noticed by royal fans on social media, after his new birthday portrait was released this weekend. It has become traditional for the Prince and Princess of Wales to share special, often more intimate pictures of their children on each of their birthdays, with Louis turning 5 this Sunday, April 23. 
In the sweet photo Louis is seen being pushed in a wheelbarrow by his mum, wearing a blue woolly jumper and the famous shorts he is pictured in so often. Kate also looked happy as she is visible wearing a striped jumper while playing with her son in the garden. Kensington Palace posted two pictures of the little royal on their official Instagram page with the caption, Someone's turning five tomorrow. A very happy birthday to Prince Louis. Read the full story here 10 hours ago 11 colon 03 Catherine Meyer funnel William and Harry at center of orchestrated coronation strategy to keep them apart Prince William and Prince Harry will have no time for meaningful conversation during the coronation as their interactions will be kept to a minimum, a royal expert claim. Express.co.uk was told palace aides were carefully orchestrating every moment of the ceremony to ensure the Prince of Wales and the Duke of Sussex would not need to be together during the service. And according to former royal butler Paul Burrell, Harry will be sat ten rows back compared to senior members of the royal family to keep the world cameras from focusing on their interactions. Royal expert Nick Bullen claimed the Duke cannot avoid returning to the UK due to the importance of the moment for King Charles III, and will get no chance to strike up any proper conversation with William. Bullen said, I don't think William and Harry will have any meaningful conversations. Read the full story here 10 hours ago 10 colon 43 Catherine Meyer funnel from Jubilee mischief to Andex with Meghan Markle, Prince Louis cheekiest moments whether he's pulling faces, screaming in delight, or having a tantrum, Prince Louis seems to have a knack for capturing the public's attention. The youngest child of Prince William and Kate, Princess of Wales, turns five on Sunday, and despite being one of the youngest royals, has earned his place as one of the people's favorites. From his cheeky faces at the Queen's Platinum Jubilee last summer to his inherently playful nature, here's a look back at some of Louis' most mischievous moments. Read the full story here 12 hours ago 09 colon 15 Catherine Meyer funnel Meghan warned over running out of royal currency as she picks California over coronation Meghan Markle risks running out of her main currency of significance at the moment, a commentator has said. The Duchess of Sussex had a successful stint as an actress but her career in that field ended several years ago, reputation management and PR expert Edward Coram James noted. At the moment, her royalty is what powers up her public image and fame, he claimed. However, she isn't doing any royal things at the moment, which exposes her to the risk of losing her royalty status in the public court of opinion. Analyzing, merely from a public image point of view, Meghan's decision not to attend the coronation of King Charles, the co-founder of Go Up told Express. Co.uk, in the long run, I expect that the Duchess' decision will be a negative for her. He also said, her sole currency of significance, at the moment, is her royalty. This may well change should she produce, star in or be significantly involved in any critically successful venture in the future, but for now it is the harsh reality. And royals are expected to do royal things. Read the full story here 12 hours ago 08 colon 50 Catherine Meyer funnel Prince William angry at Harry for betrayal and has no interest in talking to him Prince William has no interest in talking to his brother who he feels betrayed him with the release of his book Spare, a royal insider has claimed. In his memoir, Prince Harry claimed his brother knocked me to the floor in a row over Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex in 2019. None of the royals has commented on this allegation, but reports suggest William is furious with his brother ahead of the coronation of King Charles in May. A source close to the Sussexes has told Entertainment Tonight that William is still upset about Harry's book, calling Sparrow Betrayal. 
read the full story here 13 hours ago 07 colon 56 Catherine Meyer funnel King Charles told any coronation reconciliation with Harry must include Meghan fully any attempt at reconciliation between Meghan Markle and Prince Harry and the royal family would have to include Meghan fully an expert has claimed relations between the couple and the rest of the royals have been strained since Meghan and Harry left royal life since stepping down they have taken several swipes at senior members of the family, including Harry's father, King Charles. Now their relationship is about to be put under the spotlight after Harry's attendance at the coronation was confirmed, sparking reports of a reconciliation. But life coach and hypnotherapist Vicky Barra said any truce would be a mutual agreement between everyone, including Meghan, despite her deciding not to attend the occasion. Read the full story here 13 hours ago 07 colon 50 Catherine Meyer Funnel Good morning good morning from London, I'm Catherine Meyer Funnel and I'll be bringing you all the royal updates into this afternoon. Feel free to get in touch Kathy. Mayor Funnel at reachbook.com.